Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and I have a question for you. Are you struggling with closing more sales in your affiliate marketing? Well, pay close attention because in this video, I'm going to share with you a real simple tip that will help you close more affiliate sales with ease, and that is how you structure your bonuses. Now, when you're structuring a bonus, it really has to center around the top four, three to four objections that people have when making a decision to purchase that particular product you're promoting. You see, Grant Cardone says that the most dangerous objection is the unspoken objection. So it's never really price that people don't buy. It is something other than price and it's that unspoken objection. So what you want to do is you look at the product that you are promoting, then sit down and come up with three to four key objections that people would have in, that would stop them from making the decision to buy that product. Then what you want to do is structure bonuses that will solve those objections. So what you want to do, we'll give an example here. Let's say you are offering a course for somebody wanting to do Facebook Lives. And how would they um, use Facebook Lives to get more leads for their business? So one of the big objections that people are going to have with Facebook Lives is, what are they going to talk about? How are they going to find titles? Okay, what do they do and say? After the Facebook Live, when they're talking to prospects, how do we close those people? Okay, so then what you want to do is offer uh, bonuses that are going to address those objections. So when it comes to um, what are they going to talk about every day, you could come up with a PDF of 100 or uh, 101, I'm just throwing that number out there, of a list of ideas that they could be talking about in topics. You can also be talking about giving them some scripts of how to follow up with people after a Facebook Live. What type of conversations do you have with people when they reach out to you after you do a call to action? Okay, so you can see where we go with those bonuses. So this is the most important tip and that's why you know, so many people, the top earners, really hit those, you know, win those affiliate contests is that they offer bonuses that address the biggest objections people have with making the decision to buy a product. Now, I want you to go back and I want you to think about the last product you purchased. Look back, especially if you're buying a product online that's helping you grow your business. When you were looking at that product, what were the big objections that you had? And when you studied the bonuses, did those bonuses address those objections? So that's what I want you to do today. Go out and to recap, <clears throat> look at your affiliate product. Look at it from the angle of your ideal customer, your ideal prospect. And then look at that and find out what are the top three to four objections that people have with that product that are holding them back from making the purchase. Then structure bonuses that are going to address those concerns. And when you do that, you're going to, you're going to see your results increase. So I hope you got value from this today. If you did, leave a comment and share. And if you're not on my newsletter, go to workwithdrlisathompson.com. Put in your best email address, and I will send to you, to your email box, my latest tips and strategies on how to grow a full-time income while working only part-time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.